we're often led to believe that we need we can never feel sadness right that that is like a weakness right or like it's not beneficial to us to feel sadness i am going to go against the green and say that i don't believe that i believe it is extremely beneficial to 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 feel sadness it is extremely benefiting to have and express the emotion of sadness. Going into my minute 22 lesson for this week. And let's see if this kind of helps with what any of you are feeling at this point, right? So I've been getting lots of like DMs or comments or or just messages from y'all or outside of the world right where i've been hearing that some of you are sad right and so i sat with this and in my meditation this morning it came up for me that i just wanted to say and i wanted to remind you that we need not fear sadness. I think there's this like stigma to feeling sad and to feeling afraid that like, you know, we should never feel either of those. Well, that's an impossibility. We are humans with feelings and emotions and these feelings are going to come up. We've already established that. We know that, right? So you cannot not feel sad or any of the other emotions we humans so naturally, you know, conjure up. So of course we don't want to stay in the sadness or the fear because those are the lowest vibrating emotions. And of course, when you feel happiness and joy and excitement or love, right? Those are the emotions that we want to like always try to make our way up to right up the ladder sometimes it's not possible sometimes we are in it right it's murky and it's sticky and it's stinky and it sucks but that's part of the human experience that is part of our experience so i say that because we must also remember that what we sit with and we wallow in we get more of so it's okay to feel sadness and fear and, and, and these lower, not fun emotions, right? It's going to happen. It's bound to happen. And we also have to remember that we don't want to stay and wallow in it because the more we're in it, the more we get of it. So the more sadness we like want to like brew in, the more things are going to make you sad and that can have such a bad downward spiral that's you know going into like you know very depressive modes and 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 i'm not going to get into the <laughs> psychological and psychiatric side of it because i am neither of those things right but as an actor <laughs> i understand emotions really 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 well i have to that's my job right i have to understand emotions and i studied emotions far more than most everyday person, right? For my craft and my work. Sadness in particular, right? We're often led to believe that we need, we can never feel sadness, right? That that is like a weakness, right? Or like it's not beneficial to us to feel sadness. I am going to go against the grain and say that i don't believe that i believe it is extremely beneficial to 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 feel sadness it is extremely benefiting to have and express the emotion of sadness why because when we know what sad feels like when we're no longer sad we can feel the happiness right emotions ebb and flow we're not a constant being that is going to feel one emotion for the duration of life you're not human 
you're a robot, okay? If you want to be a robot, I don't know what to say to you, but that's not going to be the case. You are going to feel different emotions. It's natural. It's normal. It's typical. It's to be expected. And so when we have those moments of sadness, right? What if instead of getting more sad, we get curious? What if we get curious? What if we get quiet? What if we get still? What if we just explore, right? So we can be more investigatory with the emotion of sadness. So instead of thinking that there's something wrong with you when you feel sad, what if you start to think like, ooh, what is this sadness about? Okay, something happened. I'm feeling sad. No, I don't want to feel sad. But what happened? I was feeling fine a little bit ago. I was feeling fine yesterday. I was feeling fine, you know, but what happened? What came in? Was it I saw a picture? Is it because it's the anniversary of something that brings you, you know, that little tug on your sad strings? Is it because you're no longer friends with that person? Is it because you miss someone who's traveling or who's no longer with us or who, you know, did you wrong? We can feel sad for all these reasons and so many more, right? And sadness is kind of like, you know, when there's a storm in the ocean, right? When there's a storm in the ocean and the winds are howling and the waves are like huge and they're like crashing. So sadness is like the ocean, right? When the ocean needs to storm, whatever the reasons are, I'm not a meteorologist, but the currents and the cold and the heat from the different waters combine and they brew like a perfect storm, right? The ocean has to have a storm to release what it needs to release, right? We think that the storms are done to us, like the destruction is done to us. But on the contrary, we've all probably heard Tony Robbins say that things don't happen to us, they happen for us, right? The destruction that happens in our life is happening so that we can evolve to something greater and grander. So like the ocean, when the waves are big and the, and the surge is crashing, that is metaphorically our sadness, right? But we know that the storm passes. We know that the waves calm. We know that the winds get still. We know, although we can't always see, that the rainbow turns up for us. So because we're in a sad storm, equivalent to Mother Earth's storm, this too shall pass. And remembering that it's temporary and remembering that it's passing helps us understand that this feeling and emotion of sadness that we're currently possibly in is there serving us to learn something that we must learn to again graduate to the next level. And I have loved approaching these moments of sadness in this way because it teaches me so much, not just about life and others and the emotion of sadness, but it teaches me how I am so much stronger than I ever thought I would be because I am going and riding with the waves instead of going against the waves. And if sadness is what you are feeling, there's no shortcutting it. You don't want to get stuck there, but you do want to explore it and be okay with it. And so sadness is not our enemy. We can look at it as our friend. So in those moments of sadness, how can we unravel some of the things that made us feel sad so that we can better understand ourselves so that we can spiral up to the higher frequencies of happiness and joy and love and excitement. So I invite you, I invite us that when we get sad to get curious and to explore it, you're gonna find something really cool in there, but you can't find it unless you're willing to go there. So happy Friday, happy weekend yay. And um, remember, 
stay light and bright, lead the way. That is how I always want us all to go into our days. So I love you tremendously. Happy Friday, happy weekend, yay. Be the light, be the light. Bye everybody, love you tons. So if you liked this video, go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel, so keep watching.